Those tornadoes Mike talked about, well, they left behind long trails of damage. Yeah, Fox 44's Ben Shabia Jordan spoke with the survivors who share how they are coping with this tragedy. Miles and miles of debris is all that can be found in this area. I spoke with residents who say despite the devastation, they are still hopeful. That was our sign and the awning over the front, and it's just all completely gone. Darla Merkett, a member of Victory Baptist Church, is trying to process how the building that once stood here is now completely ripped apart. We haven't been able to find a pew, a stick of a pew, anything. It's like it all just totally disappeared. There is one item that stayed intact even with the strong winds of the eight mile long tornado traveling north along FM 2843. This corner of the parsonage located next door to the church. Pastor Billy Borjo says this is the room he used to pray and study in and he feels like this space was protected. And uh, I have great peace and I have hope that God is going to do something in the midst of all of this, he's going to touch some people's hearts. Bell County Judge David Blackburn says a tornado damaged at least 15 to 20 homes. Right now, several agencies are working together to pick up debris from the area and restore water and power to the residents, which could take several days. It is uh, not uh, in any sense a minor miracle that we did not have fatalities associated with this tornado. Um, as you look at the, the devastation that, uh, that it created last night, it's hard to imagine that that didn't occur. So, uh, you know, that's something to be thankful for. With Easter this coming Sunday, the pastor says they will still have Easter service on this platform where the auditorium used to be. And I'm going to preach it till I got one, one more breath. That's what I'm going to do. To receive assistance or donate to these affected by the tornado, visit the link on our website, fox44news.com. In Bell County, Bernshavia Jordan, Fox 44 News.